So here's all these people running back like Charlie. Now they're putting their head on him. Oh my God, I forgot all this. Poor John. What an early death. What a sweet, gentle lion. You've heard the story about John when it took hours to put this makeup on. And when we did the sequence in the water, when they first see the ship, and I said to the kids, whatever you do, don't get John's makeup wet, because if you do, it's gonna get ruined. And they said, oh, don't worry, we won't. They jumped in the water and ran right out going, John, I'm about to Here, this guy had been in the makeup for five hours, never said a thing. Wow. He said, do I have to do this again? I said, I'm afraid. <laughs> you think he'd kill the kids? Oh my God, look at this. Look at that eye that we had to put in, that, that the slanting eye. And, oh gosh, this process is extraordinary. Poor John. He died so young. Look at, look at the smile. It's that smile comes through. This was a sweet, gentle giant. Scary as hell. Even scary to me. But he put his arm around you. And it was like, wow. You know, wow. I'm flying. It's just, mama made everything real. Mama treating her as her son with these other two made everything real. God rest her soul. Um, I believe she had this child because <laughs> she believed it. That makes all the difference in the world. When you run into situations like this, how do you make this character work? How do you make this relatively grotesque? How do you make him real? Well, he had to believe it and everybody around had to believe it. And I totally believe Mama gave birth to him. And I totally believe that Chunk fell in love with him. Chunk found him as the brother he never had. Remember when you're wrong, man? I'm wrong, Hello, Dick. This is the new Tuesday. Tuesday.